Good afternoon, everyone. TSB Hello. Television proudly presents the 2011 Twin Cities Girls Basketball Championship. Today, the rebirth of the rivalry. St. Paul Central and Minneapolis South. Speaking of Hill Murray, I talked with Aaron Herman back in the Breakdown Sports USA Tip Off Classic. She told me then the Pioneers have a little unfinished business after they lost the state final in a heartbreaking fashion in the final minute to Benel St. Margaret's. They have the number two and three scores in the Classic Suburban Conference with Bethany Doolittle and Tessa Sitchi. And they also have the advantage with depth and size. So how does Hill Murray utilize that? And so here comes that press. It works. Martin with the steal. Going to Bell. And Bell gives Kennedy the lead. Rebound and the cleanup by Mia Coffey. That gives her nine points. Taylor Yule missed it on the other end. And Mulaney picks it up and puts it in. They seem like bodies are flying everywhere. Hopkins may have thought that ball was going out of bounds. They just let up. Going to Garcia Shaw. Holy cow, did you see that? I'm, I thought I was watching a young Michael Jordan. <laughs> Bradley to Lee, no bounce, oh. and Terrence Williams with the rebound. Brings it up again, Taishiba Shaw can't handle it. Saves possession, Aaron and Shaw. gets a tough shot. Thought about it, but no. Rule wants it, bullseye! Two big threes for Satoria Rule. As she keeps South on life support, 17 points. Rule, she's on fire, you want to talk about sparks and Smoke and flames, rules found hers. Humboldt with four fouls to give. No foul called there. Baseline. Curtis, can't do it. Larock with the rebound. Hicks is open down court. And Moran Stewart has no chance. How did she, what the ball still lie? And finally wow. Green picks it up. That's a staple of South Central games over the years. If there's a loose ball, it turns into an NFL scrum. Look out, ref, for three. That was Thomas, no good, but Shepard Anderson with the rebound. He's short, over the back, no good from Chappelle. And another offensive board. Still doesn't go in. Another, and one. Chappelle was left open. Anthony Lee says, get out of here. As the minutes wind down, Johnson streak against Minnesota teams is in jeopardy. This time, Javon Smith. McCarver goes for it and gets the basket with 20 seconds. The clock is still going. St. Paul Central has four timeouts. McDonough out. Finds Taylor Knight. Eight seconds. Minnehaha's last chance. Matt Pryor, no good. Gets the rebound. And the foul. I don't need to tell you what's at stake. <laughs> St. Paul Central survives a scare with a 70 to 68 win as they move to five and six on the season. Minnehaha Academy goes to five and seven. But everybody held their breath as Matt Pryor took what would have been a game tying free throw. You were scoreless in the first half. How did you find that fire in the second? Um, our captains really pushed us in the locker room, and after that, we all just got that fire and came out and played hard. Well, if there's any drama, it might be who can shoot the farthest. Tessa didn't score a lot of points tonight, but you certainly won in style points. Not only did you get a half-court three to end the first half, you got a layup as you were falling down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, we practiced those, but it was just one of those things where I was just going for it. It was just two seconds left and I was like, I'm gonna go for it. I honestly didn't think it was gonna go in, but it did, so I was lucky. Before you go, I wanna ask, is there anyone you wanna say hi to that might be watching? Um, no. No? <laughs> you mean no? You mean all the support you get and you can't say hi to anybody? Hi, no, I'm everybody. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Good evening, everyone. TSV Television proudly welcomes you to WFA football. It's the last game of the season for these teams you'll see tonight as they fight for a division crown and playoff berth. It's the Wisconsin Wolves and the Minnesota Machine coming up next. Let's see if that NFL experience from Willie Howard proves fruitful here. Feats to Alt. Touchdown, Minnesota. No flags. 
Maggie Alt kept running and running and running and comes through with her second rushing touchdown of the season. Fourth and four, this could be the game. Feets in trouble. And Feets gets stacked up at the 40. What do we say, Nebraska needed that big stop? I'd say that's a big stop. Now they only need 60 yards in one minute and 53 seconds. Beth Johnson, but we have a flag. there is a flag and I think it's false start. Oh Defensive no, it's holding. holding on the stampede. I'd say that's the worst time to pick up your fifth penalty of the game. Smith with room, has space on the right side. This will be a good return. Still on her feet and taken out of bounds at the 15. This one will stand, so no touchdown yet for Smith, good who job. can break out at any point, but two great returns great job, ladies. on her end. This time, Smith fields it, and she has room on the left, trying to cut, looking for blocking, breaks free, now trying to cut right, still going. Look at Smith. She has done everything but reach the end zone. Brought down at the 24-yard line. And I was going to say, Having to re-punt is big because you just sent your special teams unit down the field once, and so having them field again is much more difficult because they used up a lot of energy. That was a 60-yard penalty by the Wisconsin Wolves. Third and eight, I formation again. Thompson looking back to throw, going again to Bowman. Are you kidding me? Oh, Touchdown, wow. Minnesota! Becky Bowman from Danielle Thompson. Thompson finding a favorite Minnesota receiver Touchdown. quickly, and Becky Bowman, 20-yard touchdown pass. Minnesota favoring the eye. Searcy again, turning the corner. Has daylight, goodbye! See you later! Touchdown, Minnesota! 35-yard touchdown run by Yolanda Searcy, and persistence has paid off for the running back. Miller drops back under pressure, gets rid of it in time. It's complete to Wesley. She can't break Abby Smith for a touchdown reception, but she does get a first down catch. At the 43, they will be a much stronger team down the road. They tried to draw Minnesota offsides, did not do that. Wesley on the carry, and she fumbles the ball. Jessica Patno with the recovery. How did this game symbolize your fight through adversity? You dealt with ownership changes. You had to answer a 10-point deficit, and then you had to answer another deficit in this game to fight for the win. You know, we, we have, we've we've gone through a lot and you know, with injuries, with um, ownership change and everything. And you know, we've all stuck together through, through everything. And, and that's, what, that's what makes us a team. And the coaches have stuck by us and, and we're just a, a tight knit group and it just gets us through everything. Aubrey, how does it feel not to be a rookie anymore? Oh, it's amazing to watch from game one, number one to game number eight. It's amazing how we've all developed, we've come together as a family. This is truly a wolf pack.